Hello and welcome to the 2017 edition of the RSNA meeting in Chicago. My name is Brian Casey. I'm editor-in-chief of AntMini.com. One of the most fascinating image visualization techniques to come along over the last few years has been cinematic rendering. That's the use of advanced data reconstruction techniques to create images from uh, CT and MRI scans that are uh, amazingly lifelike. Uh, Dr. Elliot Fishman of Johns Hopkins University is with us today and he's been uh, one of the early users of cinematic rendering. He's going to tell us what it's all about. Dr. Fishman, thanks for being with us today. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. And uh, you know, we've been involved with 3D imaging for 30 years, and you know, things change with better computers, faster computers, better data sets. But I think what cinematic rendering does, as you mentioned, is really take things to another level. Well, basically, it's in many ways it's a form of volume rendering, but instead of a single light model, which means there's a light source here looking at the data you have multiple or infinite light sources. And, and these, these are all computer modeled, correct? The, right. the it's, it's, it's basically done in a workstation. I mean, being it sounds very dramatic, but to be honest, it takes me about five minutes a case. So it's not like something that takes you hours and hours to do. With a little experience, you can develop preset values. And what you're able to do is create very realistic, it's not just even, they look pretty, which they do seem to, but they're very accurate compared to the data. So our surgeons love them. Uh, and it's a very easy way of understanding very complicated anatomy. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks like you're looking directly at the patient anatomy. I mean, it's really remarkable. Yeah, it does look fake, I have to admit. Our, I think everyone's impression, like you say, it almost looks like too good. And, but it really does, it looks kind of like those, um, like anatomy, only better. And when you show it to surgeons, I think one of the reasons people like it so much and really feel that it's going to have a lot of value is because it's kind of, it looks like what you're really going to see. So if a surgeon's going to do a laparoscopic procedure, we can make it look exactly the same. So it's, there's no surprises. And I think we, you know, when you look forward at it, it also does a lot of things that we're looking at, like looking at texture. And with the texture mapping, you know, with, you know, as you say, AI is such a big thing at RSNA 2017. It's another good way, perhaps, of using artificial intelligence as a way of picking up small tumors. So we're doing cinematic rendering, looking at pancreatic masses, different types, basically trying to show that you could recognize early tumors that you don't see on routine slices of scans. We're doing cinematic to look at distinguishing what's a cancer, what's not a cancer. And I think you're going to see a lot of those things really develop over the next couple of years. Yeah. Now, how, how long <laughs> have you been working with cinematic rendering and about how many cases have you done? Yeah, we've been doing it for um, maybe a year, and well over a year. And I, I do about 20 cases a day. So we've done a couple thousand cases. And the cases we've done, I, I'm a body imager, so I tend to focus there. But you know, we've done a lot of cardiac and thoracic and pancreas and liver and muscle and trauma and oncology. I've done with my colleagues some of the neuro stuff. So it's really not very specific in the sense that it's not just a pancreas or a liver or a brain. It's really everything. And we spend most of our time with CT. But it seems the same thing can be done with MR. We're doing a little bit of MR now, focusing on the knee and ligaments and tendons. So I think it's going to be sort of an oral purpose algorithm. And to, you know, literally, it's changing fairly rapidly. Till a week ago, I would have to look at very much static images. Now, as of about an hour before I went to the RSNA, I could do video. Mm -hmm. So I could look at things and record and move things around and record that. So I think you're going to see a lot of changes. Uh, I would say we're at cinematic rendering 1.0 at best. Mm -hmm. And I think you're going to see a lot of changes, whether it's faster hardware, a better use of the algorithm, and just our getting more experience. Yeah. We've been. Now, now, about how long does it take you to, to do a case? No, actually, you know, one, I load the case, which takes just a few seconds, and I could pretty much do a case in five minutes. You twiddle around sometimes, you know, because you but I can get it done in five minutes. Yeah. Now, is this the kind of thing that you foresee the average radiologist in a community setting or an academic center being able to do routinely? Yeah, I, I think it should be. You know, I've always been a big proponent and I thought 25 years ago 3D would be mainstream and for whatever reason it's never become mainstream. But it is very compelling. The referring clinicians want, and I think it's radiology now, radiology talks about value over volume. This would surely be value. Because if the clinicians want to see it, if they think it's important to them, that's value. Yeah. And it's hard to find things that we do that's 
you can describe as value, to me, this may be a really good example. So perhaps as we go to this value model of radiology, this will be one of the things that shows value. Okay. Do, you, do you feel like cinematic rendering is at the point right now where it is ready to be used routinely in a clinical setting, or is there still a little bit of work that needs to be done? No, honestly, I, we, you know, we like to say, oh, only we can do it, but uh, we had, you spend a little bit of time, it's not a very big learning curve, and if you have preset values, you can do, you know, we, we, we're giving out the values we use for preset different organs. It's really simple, the learning curve is very quick. <laughs> yeah. So um, if you, you want to look at a, a lot of cinematic rendered images, um, your, your Facebook page, I, I see that you, you've posted quite a bit, you want to give people the, uh, the, uh, how they can uh, sign, lo lo log on for that? Yeah, well you can go to CT as Us, just hit the Facebook page. So it's a CT as Us Facebook page, but also we have a couple exhibits at RSNA on cinematic rendering, um, and then we'll post them online after the meeting. Okay, perfect. Well, uh, thanks for being with us. Oh, it's, it's an honor as always. All right, great. Signing off for antmini.com, my name is Brian Casey.